okay so i saw one interesting place while flying with the drone so right now i'm going to take a closer look at that place sure that it's a private property but I didn't see any sign that I can go in I didn't want to make too much noise. Dogs barking. It's not a good sign. Where is the dog? Okay, now I think it's time to start looking at the cars and trucks closer. So, I don't know, we have... So the maximum speed is 160. It still has a radio, <laughs> not really much space inside. Another one. This model is still popular in Russia. One more. As the green one, uh, this one looks kind of different. I mean, all details are different inside and more space. 
Okay, cool. And black window. Moskvich. Mmm, that smell reminds me all times, boys. Volga? Wow! Dusty. Warning. Sirens produce loud sounds that may damage hearing. <laughs> no shit. Long military truck. I mean, at least the color is green, so I suppose it's a military truck and gas tank. Zil trucks. This one looks really long. The locked. Okay, fire trucks, zil truck as well. Okay, so nothing interesting further. I haven't finished. Mercedes. Two hundred D. Okay. It it looks after service because I see no filter so it should start without any problems motorbikes Russian plates and again fire truck what? What is this? To be honest, I don't know. Interesting. So many fire trucks. I don't really have enough time to check every car or every truck. We can check few more. These ones looks interesting. And three more. Okay, so I think I'm done. Already two hours passed, so I don't really want to be longer, you know, in case if someone will come to check around the territory. So I had really nice exploring time, found really old Russian uh, cars, trucks. Uh, as I said, I'm not really uh, an expert, you know, to identify those cars and models but at least I tried so basically I found those cars in the middle of the forest or field just I was flying with my drone when I saw them so I came to check them up close so yeah that would be my outro and next time 